Yo voy caminando a la montaña donde nací. Yo voy My name is Robert Vidal, and I first started cutting hair in the prison cells in FCIO Reno, Oklahoma, while serving a 30-year sentence for drug trafficking, cocaine, and for, for murder. I was released from uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons on March 17, 1998, after serving 12 years of incarceration. I started the business of cutting hair, hair styling, I, uh, with the help of a, a friend who worked in Elizabeth Avenue, Ernesto Roncal, who had a vision that someday he will own his own shop. So we both put our savings together, a little savings that we had together, and and put this these thoughts together and open up this hair styling place with the help of God. God became real in my life while in a prison cell and, and running across a small New Testament Bible. So I'm active in a, a church where the saints there and have prayed for me that will, I will come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, a church that my mother goes to two to three times a week. And there I, I spend time you know, speaking with the youth and from there also get invitation to other places where I could speak to the youth about the dangers of drugs and uh, having a relationship with God through obedience to His Word and, and living a life of uh, a godly life. My family, they were very happy to see the change of life, what had taken place in those 12 years of incarceration. My mother allowed me to stay in her house and took good care of me. And my brother, a New York police officer, helped me out with the uh, the stuff that I needed, tools to get myself started in the barbershop business, so they were really very loving people. But I'm very thankful to God for the mother he has given me in Christ, who did a lot of praying for me. And for the mothers out there that their kids are going astray and doing the things they're not supposed to be doing, don't lose hope. Keep praying that God listens, he's merciful. And in the name of Jesus, pray to him then this will happen like it happened to me. Instead of me dying in my sins and my criminal life or being murdered or dying in death row, keep the faith. God listens. He's a merciful God. I thank God for this beautiful mom. You know, my part-time activities, I spend it working with the youth and different youth ministries where I speak to them about the dangers of being involved and drug lifestyles, being in, in drug use, being into gangs. My message to today's youth as an ex-convict, as a man that by my own free will and wrong choices went on the path of a, of a criminal lifestyle, of a drug dealer and a convicted murderer, my message to them is to, to be alert and to take a moment some time out to listen to some people that are caring for them and loving and they don't they want to warn them how they could enter into criminal lifestyles by using drugs, abusing alcohol. My message is for them to to see the sincerity in, in someone out here that's dedic is dedicating time to, to tell them to say no to drugs. And this is where it all started in the prison system 12 years ago. The Word of God became the foundation of my faith. I live in faith in God through Christ Jesus.
personas que buscan empezar una nueva vida al lado de ese ser a quien tanto daño hicieron en el pasado. Ahora quiero que conozcan cómo este joven cubano lucha por volver a empezar una nueva vida después de haber vivido 13 años en una cárcel por cometer un asesinato. Además busca el perdón de su mamá, a quien hizo sufrir todos estos años. Veamos. Bueno, Cristina, yo por muchos años hice sufrir mucho a mi madre por mi comportamiento, por la vida que escogí. A la edad de 23 años de edad empecé a usar cocaína y a tomar licor y me alejé de, de, de la forma que ella me había educado. Me sentía destrozada, creía que había momentos que no podía resistir esa vida, porque yo enseñé a mis hijos que había que respetar la ley como se respeta a Dios. Me convertí al ídolo de, de ganar dinero, ganancia, no le escuchaba con la mamá mía, me daba consejos, mis hermanos, no tenía tiempo para ello, yo quería hacer una ganar ese dinero rápido, esta vida me llevó a muchos momentos de peligro y también en el 1985 le quité la vida a un hombre en el, en el, en el, en el tráfico de drogas y hice sufrir a mi madre grandemente y por este programa quiero que, que mi madre sepa uh, que que le pido perdón por todo lo que le hice sufrir, le doy gracias a Dios por la oportunidad de dejarme salir después de 12 años de prisión, a la, con una nueva vida, empezar, ya gracias a Dios tengo un, con un partner, Miguel Roncar, una barbería en Elizabeth, New Jersey, y le doy gracias a Dios por, por darme esta oportunidad de pedirle perdón en cámara a mi madrecita. Ahora yo me siento una de las madres más felices que pueda haber en la tierra, por el cambio de mi hijo, que eso se lo debo a Dios.